Northstar is a Titanfall 2 mod that allows you to play on custom modded servers so that you can actually enjoy Titanfall 2 multiplayer, unlike on the vanilla servers which now kick you all of the time. So first thing you need to do is head over to the Northstar releases link in the description below. The latest at the time for this was 181. Download that to your hard drive and while it's downloading, head to your Steam folder, go to properties of Titanfall 2 and browse local files. So you want to do this in desktop mode, makes life a lot simpler and even more so if you have a mouse and keyboard. Once that's open, find your Titanfall2.exe and rename it to something. I just called mine Titanfall2 Original for ease. Then locate the downloaded Northstar zip file and extract all of the files into that Titanfall2 directory. Now you want to rename your Northstarlauncher.exe to Titanfall2. Now if you don't have Qt Proton up, at this point you will also want to go and grab that from the Discover Store as you will need a specific Proton version for this. So you will need to head into Qt Proton up and download 7.3 GE1. Not the GE Proton version, just the 7.3 GE1 version. Again, this will take a few minutes to download, but for ease, I'm going to skip through this here. Once that's installed, you will need to go into your Steam properties for Titanfall 2 and set the compatibility to use that Proton version. So once again, Proton 7.3 GE1 and hit launch. Now, I didn't launch the game before I started this process, so I will have the origin stuff to go through. What it is worth noting is that the first time you launch this, it will take around two to five minutes, depending on where you have this installed, and it will appear like it's doing nothing during that time. Don't do anything, just let it do it. It will most likely crash out and stop back to the play button, but this is actually doing stuff in the background. So let it run through this process, and then when you see that the stop button has gone away and it's gone back to play, then just hit that button again. As you'll see here, I have sped this up, but it took around two and a half minutes for it to go back to play. And then the second time that I hit this, the origin window came up and it started that full install process. So I did do this straight away from downloading Titanfall 2. So if you've already skipped through this process, you probably just may have a longer wait period that first time. Once again, I've sped through this process because this took around five minutes to do all of the origin setup. So be prepared that this whole process will take around 20 minutes the first time in. But then Northstar took about 30 seconds to load beyond that point and was working perfectly every time. So there you go. Once you've gone through that second launch, you'll get the thanks for installing Northstar intro. And now you'll be able to look at multiplayer servers. Now, one thing to note the first time that I launched this, well, the second launch, you'll notice that the servers do not have a join button here. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but if you double click these, it should launch. But if it doesn't and you still don't have that join button, just go and restart the game. When I switched to game mode, it did lose the Proton version, so I had to go and re enter the custom Proton version when switching to game mode. So make sure that that is set before you launch it again. And this time when I launched Titanfall 2 with the North Star mod in game mode, I now had the join button on the multiplayer servers and I was able to join a game and play perfectly fine. Depending on your region, you might find that lag is a little bit of an issue depending on the games and the servers that are available. But I'm hoping that with more people getting Steam Deck, there should be a lot more players in multiple servers going forwards and hopefully ones closer to where you are. As you can see, it was playing perfectly fine, but because I'm out of practice, I didn't last very long in the first couple of games, and I did have a little bit of lag on the server that I was in. However, I did do a lot better later on, and I'll have a full multiplayer video showing just how well this runs again on the channel very soon, so do check that out. This should also work on Origin, but obviously the location of the files will be slightly different. And if you've got it working on Origin using this guide, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.